Lehigh Valley Foodies. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Lehigh Valley Food. I'm Austin. And I'm Chris. And we are at Touré Restaurant over in Center Valley, 2960 Center Valley Parkway here in Center Valley. It is a beautiful, beautiful upscale Mexican restaurant. And we're close to Cinco de Mayo, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we are joined today by Tim Hofschild, How you doing? and we have Alex Jimenez. Okay, Hello. Tim is the Director of Operations, and Alex is the General Manager of Torre. So, guys, Thanks. welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you. Thank you. The place you. is beautiful. I love the little, uh, you know, the sugar school uh, wall, and the food just looks. I mean, guys, look at this food. Yeah, it looks Quite delicious. Quite a spread here today. Oh yeah, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> and by the way, Chris, welcome back from vacation. Thank you Did very you much. Fun? Yes, I yeah, had a lot yeah. of fun. It was really hard to come back to this. We missed cold you, weather. man. But you're nice and tan. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'm happy to be back and awesome. eating, of course. Well, this food looks mighty, mighty good. So before we kind of dig into, uh, you know, your story a little bit, how Touré mm -hmm. got started, can you tell us a little bit about what we have in front of us here? Like we have a lot of bottles of tequila, guys. Look at all this tequila. <laughs> Yeah. And it's like the morning. So, of course, you know, here we are with them, you know, with some tequila shots and food. So, so what do we got here, guys? Right, uh, like right here in the beginning. What do we got right over here? I'm going to move my margarita out of the way and the guac. And we're going to get a nice little close-up shot. I've had my guys. eye on that all morning. What is this, <laughs> oh, What is this, So, guys? right over here, yeah. we have our fish tacos. Oh, um, fish. We use mahi-mahi here for our fish wow. tacos. Yeah. Um, on the bottom, you have a nice cabbage slaw, and it's Ooh. topped with our chipotle crema. Um, that we all make in house. Oh my gosh, um, it looks and delicious. And that's in, on corn tortillas. Uh, all of our tacos are also served on corn tortillas Ooh. and a couple lime wedges to give it that nice little citrus citrus twist in, into the, this the taco. Looks incredible. Would you like to try it? Yeah, oh, these yeah. are going to stay down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to try it. Come on. That's why we have a food show, you know? Beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Try it out. Oh, my gosh. I can't eat all this food. Oh, yeah. but that I'm is our. definitely take some nibbles yeah. here. Why not? It's just a popular item on the menu. I was going to say, it's our uh, number one selling taco on our menu. And oh, I wow. love Mahi Mahi. Yep. So I'll tell you right now, yep. that is definitely right up my alley. So Perfect. Chris, you want to give us mm. a little taste test with me? I think she already thought yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Wow. So, I have to give this a try. Definitely. Uh, mm. That's great. Mm. Do you like it? Mm. The batter has a nice crust to it, yep. a nice crunch, mm. and the oh fish God. is so tender. Mm -hmm. So we actually have blue corn crust on there rather than a normal flour-based mm. crust. Wow. So it is technically a gluten-free crust, wow. even though... It is cross contamination with a deep fryer that sure. we have back there. Yep. So, but yeah, that's it's, it's, wonderful. It's, it gives it a more of a unique, unique flavor, a little mm. bit of a sweeter flavor than a normal flour based uh, batter would be. Yeah. Nice and tender, juicy. Yeah, Thank yeah you. it's hard that's to start very, with very this. Good. I don't know that I want to eat anything. <laughs> <else. Right? laughs> this is just the beginning. Mm. We oh also goodness. top all of our tacos with the fresh cilantro. Mm. Give it that nice mm. freshness yeah, yeah. as Love well. It. I can see that. Yeah. Love it. That's yeah. delicious. And for those so. who don't like cilantro, they can you, opt to have absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that happens mm. all the Quite time often, as well. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it, though. Yeah. Send yeah, it Yeah, very, me. very good. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got next here? We got a whole mountain of, of nachos. Guys, do you see this mountain mm -hmm. of nachos? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so over here we have – these are award-winning nachos in the Valley as well. Mm, okay. We've won best nachos in the Valley about a couple times. Yeah. Couple, I can see times. Um, Those are – chicken uh wow. you have tomato chicken jalapenos black beans wow uh, that is a tower of, tower of guacamole oh, yeah. tower. and uh crema oh, gosh. to finish wow. it off mm. oh, my okay goodness. that Ooh, guys, incredible. Here we go. when this sits a table people order this as an appetizer yeah people are just absolutely blown away i mean it's <laughs> massive it's, it's sure. way bigger than it needs to be but that's part of the presentation mm. absolutely yeah, i love it people mm. love it Seeing people eat that by themselves is impressive as well. <laughs> you see I, I think I, I could I could handle Can that. that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's very impressive though. You don't see it often. Oh, but I could dig in like, seriously. No, <laughs> I could dig into like a third of that and be like, you I'm think done. So? Oh my I've god. I've seen yeah. you eat. I've seen you throw down. <laughs> okay, well if I didn't eat all day, okay, I could just bow that mountain. <laughs> That's oh, awesome, that's guys. Great. That is very good. I just had a bite. Chris, I'd pass it down. I'll, work, a little my, so I'll work my way over. We will Don't work worry. on it, okay? <laughs> so what's next here, guys? What's uh, 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 this little bowl of shrimp we got over here? Looks um, like ceviche. So this is what I, yeah, this is what I would say was mm -hmm. is an underrated uh, appetizer here. Sure. Okay. Yeah, um, in the sense where people are going to go for the nachos, the empanadas, mm -hmm. the taquitos, but mm -hmm. you wouldn't really go for the shrimp ceviche. Mm -hmm. um, and it's one of my favorites. Uh, we have shrimp, avocado, mm -hmm. mint. A pickled red onion that we make in house. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, and a nice citrus juice, and it has a nice kick to it because we add habanero. Oh wow. Um, served oh, with God, our house good. tostadas that we also make, um, and it's very refreshing and, and delicious. Oh, my delicious meal. Okay, I'm, I'm oh, trying gosh. that one first. You know okay. what? Would you like you some? Want, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love a good ceviche. Yep. Go for it. Let's pass this down. Definitely nice. has. Uh, 
heat to it. Does it? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, nice. I have, I have water and a margarita, so. <laughs> I, now, I don't know how you guys know I love salmon, but I see a salmon dish over there next to it. Oh. And uh, it looks like it's on a mound of corn and uh, what looks like zucchini yeah. and some yummy vegetables. So, so, what is that? Thank you, Alex. Yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, you're welcome. Mm. So with the salmon, uh, this is actually my favorite dish that we have in house. Okay. Uh, once again, go to a Mexican restaurant. You're gonna go for the tacos, the enchiladas, but yep, um, definitely. we have very good seafood and steaks here as well. Mm. Um, so that we have the salmon on top, and on the bottom, uh, you were asking that's a corn, zucchini, and onion. All ah, sautéed. Okay. Um, and once again, served with a lime and mm. a cilantro to top it off. Wonderful. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, that looks delicious. I definitely got to dig into that soon. Now, going down the line here, it looks like, is that fajitas at the end? Yes, it Steak is. Steak and chicken, oh and goodness. oh my gosh, that looks so, so it good. It might be a little heavy for me to pick Yep, just watch those tequila bottles, Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the $1,700 tequila bottle. Uh -huh. So this is our trio. Um, you get three oh proteins. You get our chicken, our oh, adobo yeah. chicken. I love that. Look at that. Our Guys. red chili shrimp. Oh, That's yes. our red chili shrimp. Oh, yeah. Gosh, and now, our mm. skirt steak, prime skirt steak oh, that we oh, also man, have here in house. I love skirt steak. Right here. Served with sauteed peppers oh, and onions mm. and flour tortillas. That's great. Yeah, yeah that looks Let's really good. Let's go back good. to that ceviche. It's so, actually yeah. awesome. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. The mint. Yeah. Uh -huh. The mint is what gives it that, mm. that amazing flavor. There's a little heat. Not too bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But the, I love the mint in it. I'm still thinking of these fish tacos, yeah. man. There's nothing better than eating that dish when the windows are open. Yeah. The sun's out. Oh, 80, yeah. 85 degrees. It's like summer in right? Can't beat it. Yeah, you can't beat it. It's so refreshing. It's a beautiful dish. That's great. And I had... A little taste of the steak before we start the show. Mm, it's oh, good. sure. Mm. Sure. Very nice, Austin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, can you tell us a little bit about Tori and why Paxos Group decided to, you know, add it to their brand of restaurants? So I was actually working at Melt at the time. I was a wow. general manager over there at that time, and the owner actually approached me, and he said, "Would you? how would you feel about, you know, opening up a tequila restaurant, a Mexican restaurant, you sure. know, with excellent margaritas? Right next door, there was another building here at the time. Oh, yeah. uh, they were actually leaving the building, and we decided to. And who was here before? Uh, it was uh, before at Camera Pacifico, I, I believe, oh, okay. whatever it was. Cool. Yeah, okay. So they actually left the building, and we took ownership of the building. Great. We came in here, and we completely gutted this building. Mm. I mean, wow. From the ground up, we ripped the wow. floors out, everything. Wow. Uh, all that was left was the show. I mean, we even blew out part of you know, the roof there and made the roof a little taller so we can oh, make our so tequila tower. Wow, yeah, that is yeah. I didn't realize that. So in the original, in wow. the original layout of the building, it only had, wow. it only had, I believe, 22 foot ceilings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We okay. actually made that area where the wow. tequila tower is, that's 37 feet tall. Wow. And why did you so, do that? Just for the appeal of it? Yeah, for, for the ambiance. Just for the ambiance, yeah. the aesthetic. Yeah. I love it because there's this tower. Now, guys, out there in Radio World, I know you can't see, uh, you know, the show, of course, but you guys have to come and visit Torre and check out this amazing tower they have. <laughs> it's a tequila tower, and it is just, it's really cool because it lights up at night. Is that yeah, correct? Yep. Yeah, 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 that is really, really cool. It's behind the bar, and it houses how many bottles of tequila are up there? there. Good question. So at the moment, <laughs> at, at, at the moment, and we'll, we'll talk about this when we get a little further into the podcast okay. here, yeah. but we're, we're actually at, uh, up on that tower, there's probably about 180 to 220 tequilas at any given time. Wow. wow. Um, nice. On our list we have right now, we're at 100 and about 10 tequilas. Our new, mm -hmm. our new menu is going to be well over 170 tequilas. Wow. So that's our, wow. something. Our plan is eventually to take it over to 200 tequilas as well. So, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Now, so why do you... Did I'm sorry. Go oh, ahead. Sorry, Chris. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Do you have people that come in just for the tequila? Because Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. You know. Hmm. You know what it is like. We we started this 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 concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I kind of thought to myself, I, I was I'm coming from a wine background. Yeah. You know, and and more of a Scotch background. And okay. hmm. you know, the owner well, approach Scotch. approached me on this, and we were talking a little bit more. I knew nothing about tequila. <laughs> yep. The yeah. more I Same. learned, all I know is yeah. Patron. Same. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. 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 Nothing like a shot of Patron in a wine. You know, like that's Happy that's how. Patron. That or you, you think back to the college days where yep. you know the nasty hangovers. Sure. But oh, yeah. that's, that's not what tequila is. The more I read about it, the sure. more I mm -hmm. the more I learned about it, the more I just absolutely fell in love with it. It's great. It's a beautiful spirit. The, you know the stuff that goes into it the work the labor sure. you know the love the attention on it goes into it it's just it's, wow. it's an amazing thing it really that's is that's great we're gonna have to research it more and learn more about oh, it right yeah. Austin? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. so now why did uh, george choose to open up a mexican style restaurant and why did he choose this location why center valley why right across from one of his other locations just why the theme and you know overall well, restaurants feed off each other mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's true it's just yes. they absolutely mm -hmm. feed off each mm -hmm. other yep this area was lacking a very high-end mexican restaurant sure. mm. okay and we know better than anybody that we can make that happen for our guests, yeah. you know, our employees and everybody. It's just, it, 
at first I was kind of in, in disbelief that that's the direction we wanted to go with sure. the new location. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I, I absolutely fell in love with this. And this is oh, one this of is our, great. to me, it's one of our best restaurants. Is yeah. It? Yeah. That's great. I, I feel mm -hmm. like it's a great addition to the Pax. It is. It really is. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we chose this location here. It's our backyard. You know, we're yeah. all from this area. We sure. know this area. We know the clientele. It's cool. You know, we so know. you live around here? Yeah, I do. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep. I grew up here born and raised. Yeah. Hmm. That's so. great. So, okay, guys, we're going to pause for a minute. What is this? Is this a margarita? Yeah. It sure is. <laughs> okay. Hold on a minute. What kind of margarita we got here? We we have a guava guava margarita. Guava margarita. Yeah. Ooh, so okay. you have nice. our house tequila, which is Orendane Blanco. Oh, my God. Um, mm. Some lime juice, orange juice, agave, and guava fresh guava puree. Well, cheers, cheers, gentlemen. Cheers. 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 cheers, everyone. Salute. Cheers, salute. cheers. We have that food. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Enjoy. This is delicious, by the way. Mm. And we have some premium tequila oh shots here. Goodness. Is that correct? So yes. this is actually mezcal. Oh, okay. Hold we on. did. We decided to do a mezcal flight. Okay. Mm. That's one thing where our, our list was, I, I thought, a little lacking. Mm -hmm. We actually increased that list to almost 30 mezcals on our next menu print. And what is mezcal, do. just for those that don't know? So mezcal is... The same, essentially the same plant they use for tequila. Okay. In order to be considered a tequila, they have to do 100% Blue Weber agave. Okay. Oh, okay. That's yeah, what it has this. to be in order to be considered a tequila. Okay. okay. Mezcals. Now these, you ever see like the plants that they have? Yes. The agave plants? Yes. So there is hundreds and hundreds of breeds of these plants. Oh. Okay. But in order to be tequila, it has to be 100% Blue Weber agave. Yeah. With mezcal, they can use any of those agave plants. Okay. And what they do is they roast those piñas under the ground. Mm -hmm. And they use a tajon stone, which is like a big circle stone, and they actually wheel around to crush, wow. to crush the uh, pina plants. Okay. So it gives it this really smoky, really earthy taste mm. in those cows. Hmm. Wow. So that, there's another flight for you guys. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Flight. I like that. I love it. <laughs> Trying to get a piece with of this steak. flight, um, scorpion tequila. There's actual scorpions inside the tequila bottle. Oh, you know how really? some tequila might have a little warm or yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just told to stay away from yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wake up and, and like Tijuana. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> just, don't, just don't eat the worm. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, well, this one they uh, recommend you eat the you eat the scorpion. Put a little hot sauce on it and what? you pop it right in. Um, <laughs> it's not on the table. I'm not. Gonna lie. <laughs> it's not on the table. I have tried it. Okay. It's pretty neat, actually. You finish really? the bottle. You you get the scorpion out. Just do really? it up. Yeah, Look at yeah. You, Alex. Wow, that's wow. awesome. You know, okay, yeah. I would yeah. definitely try that because well, you know, if I, I finish all these drinks, I might actually. <laughs> yes, <be> yes. <laughs> I have some Cambodian friends, and they're always like, "Oh, you have to try like fried tarantula." I'm like, I mean, I would try it. <laughs> <laughs> drinks help. <laughs> drinks help. Yes, exactly. Well, it tastes like chicken. It's actually funny. It probably does. You know, it's funny <laughs> you say that. When we were t t like doing, uh, we were doing research for the restaurant. We uh -huh. went to another restaurant in Philly, and they had grasshoppers there. No, okay, I've yeah. had that before. Wow. Um, we tried years ago them. in like a uh, lollipop and yeah. like oh my god I think in Harrisburg you're like on a class field trip yeah. you know what I mean they were pretty good tastes like you chicken. know what <laughs> I, yeah I, I mean I had a couple drinks in me so it was yeah. a little That's easier, easier yeah. to yeah. go yeah. down yeah. Always it's a little easier to force me to do that but yeah Maybe it was, it was like I was told my friends like come on man come on yeah. <laughs> for sure oh, so man. that leads me to ask what is the most popular drink on your menu mm. definitely our margaritas yeah. I mean yeah. without yeah. a doubt oh, I can tell margaritas it's delicious we go through an absolutely insane amount of margaritas here, lime juice, agave, nectar. Sure. I mean, it's just, it, it's, oh, yeah. it, it, that's our right, number one seller. I've had some bad margaritas. Oh, same. I've had some really bad ones. And that is perfect. It's delicious. We are, we are, what, top three in the state of Pennsylvania with uh, purchasing tequila? Top two. Yeah. Top wow. two. Wow. Top yep. two. Yep. Top yep. two. Top yeah. two. So that state. means basically out of all the restaurants in the state of Pennsylvania, you're number two in terms of purchasing tequila. Purchasing tequila. That yeah. is amazing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and how many, uh, how many do you offer here currently so far? How many brands or how many varieties? I should right, say. Right now we're at we're at 100 and yeah, like roughly five, ten, oh, right, wow. right around there. Wow. We're gonna wow. be the new menu increase is gonna go up to over 170. That's wow. Yeah, it's amazing. So yep. wow. wonderful good, tequila selection here. That's, good thing that's we have really a three-story cool. tequila tower. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Do they do those little ledges? They don't move. No. So okay. then no, there's no rotating yeah. or anything. But we <laughs> okay, use the ladder tell. and we use okay. up into the seventh level. Um, okay. And then the rest of the bottles, they're there for. For, for show. show, but they're wow. filled with tequila, um, so when we clean it, it. Um, we do bring those bottles down to to use them. Oh, wow. so, okay. Yeah. Now I have to ask, and I don't normally ask this on a podcast, but who designed this place? Did you guys hire a firm to, to come in and design so, it? So yes, we actually for all of our restaurants mm -hmm. we use uh, a gentleman named Jeffrey Beers. Okay. Wow. Uh, okay. His his cool. company comes in, designs the restaurants nice. for us. Obviously, wow, yeah. the owner is very 
he's very attention to detail oriented. Sure. So he is. Oh, you can tell, yeah. He, he yeah. he's very hands on when yeah. it comes to when we do a build out of a restaurant. Sure. Well, it's, yeah. so. it's beautiful, George. You have good style, my friend. Yes. <laughs> you have good style. <laughs> You know, but I have a suggestion, though, okay? You should turn the tower, though, into, like, a Willy Wonka, maybe, like, flowing down so we can, like, you know, sip it out of, like, a, that'd be, that'd out of, like, awesome. a fountain, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. George, come on, that'd be awesome, that'd be awesome. Ice cream from the top, yes, exactly. from the top to the so bottom. So we can bathe in it, you know what uh, I mean? You know what? That would be great to add to, like, uh -oh. a Cinco de Mayo. It would, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, man. If you had, like, stuff flowing down the tower, oh, man, you could dig that. right in, you know? Love that. Oh, boy. oh I'm telling you. But... <laughs> Future plans, you know? Awesome. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> so anyway, so what's your most popular menu item, guys? Like, What sells the most in terms of food? I, I, have to say the guacamole. I mean, obviously, yeah. guacamole sells, yeah? okay. uh, you know, above Do you do that above at the table, else. or yeah, do you it, just do it in the kitchen? And no, it's done in the kitchen, and it's done to order. Uh, yeah. The guests can obviously mm -hmm. modify the guacamole mm -hmm. in any way, shape, or form they want. Nice. Um, we have a couple different guacamoles on our menu to give it some bounce, you know, uh -huh. people... We have a fruit based one. We have a spicy one. I the saw that. One. Yeah. As the fruit based one is was unique. I had I've eaten Mexican food everywhere, mm -hmm. yeah. including Mexico, and I haven't seen a fruit based one. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, yeah. it's a, that's one of our that that yeah. one won't that go anywhere refreshing. when we do a menu it, change. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the yeah. summer it sells pretty well. Get into yeah. some guac, a little pineapple. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. that actually yeah. sounds really good. Wow, <laughs> pineapple yeah. is my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, same here. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. So that's I mean, awesome. but honestly, the tacos. Just you know, if we're going with. The obvious, it's the guacamole, the sure. margaritas, yeah, but, yeah. you know, the nachos. You yeah. know, like I said, we, we've won awards for the nachos in the valley and wow. the, the and fajitas. I, and, I fully understand why. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, I can definitely understand why, our, definitely. Our, our food has a great balance of what, what sells. and what, There's something for everybody here. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. There, we even have a dedicated vegetarian menu. We even have a dedicated... Wow. Gluten free, free celiac menu. That's manual. great. Yeah, I mean, that's that's really great. big. Yeah, that it, that, is big. That's one of those things where people kept asking, so we decided to come up with a couple options for, mm -hmm. for people. We actually have a couple menu items that we added in to, to cater to that clientele. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's great. Because awesome. we actually wow. have a lot of people on our food page that yeah. have different dietary restrictions, mm -hmm. especially and celiac and, and gluten. You know, absolutely, that's so. huge. So that's yeah. great. We that's love, a big we love right accommodating by yeah. any means because oh, honestly, great. just. You know, you want to, the guests are out here for an experience. Yeah. And if we can just help perfect that and give them the best experience possible, it just, that's all, that's what we're here for at the end of the day. That's great. So, can yeah. you mm. handle picky children? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Bring yeah. it. I, Bring it. I have, I have a I don't very know any child. Those, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. No, no, yeah. No, that's great. Yeah. yeah. So now you, you mentioned something as being your, the most underrated item on the menu. Right here. <laughs> the ceviche. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I do ceviche. agree. That's, pr that's mm. pretty great. Like I said, the mint Delicious. takes it to another level. Yeah, yeah. I love the flavor that it brings. And yeah. it does have like a, a subtle heat to it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very good. The citrus, mm. the heat, the sweet from yeah. the pickled red onion. And there's yeah, avocado in there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice well, you know what? Raise it to my next question. You have some avocado ice cream here. Is that correct? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that sure, about? <laughs> avocado ice cream. So is that to like, like cleanse the palate or is that like too fancy? <laughs> <laughs> we, were, we were doing this, this whole concept uh, and yeah. myself and... Uh, our corporate chef Christopher mm. you know he he was telling me he's bringing an avocado ice cream and oh, I okay. kind of thought he was losing his mind for a second you know, <laughs> I didn't like know in garlic fest you have like garlic ice cream bacon yeah. fest yeah. bacon hey, ice cream right. yeah. so right. like same thing right I had no idea that was even a thing okay. tequila you know? ice cream <gasps> oh man <laughs> <laughs> with a $1,700 bottle yes <laughs> it, was, it was crazy so like sure. I, I just I was kind of like dumbfounded when I heard that yeah. there was avocado ice sure. cream, but interested and intrigued. Yeah, I've heard of it before. Yeah. So I was heading up to, I was up in New York mm -hmm. and uh, he called me the one day. He's like, Hey, I know you're in New York. Can you stop at one of these grocery stores on the way back and grab as many of these little pints of avocado ice cream as you can find? Mm -hmm. So I stopped and I grabbed a couple of them. We brought it back. We all tried it and it was like absolutely amazing. So we contacted mm -hmm. this company mm -hmm. and they actually ship it into wow. our, our produce wow. company that we own to you know from california sure. so it's actually wow. shipped in so from california that's interesting yeah. how, yeah, really how cool. have we not discovered it before <laughs> yeah, yeah, really <laughs> holy cow you, you won't find it okay i mean you might find it in a store here and there sure. like a very specialty store and then we have alley but yeah it's, it's good i'm excited to tough try to get it. so mm -hmm. <laughs> wow that's really cool i'm really excited to definitely try that so now that spring's here, do you guys offer outside seating? Any kind of like uh, like events going on for summertime i mean do you, do you have anything special going on for the warm mm -hmm. weather Go ahead. Yeah, so we do have a couple. Of, we have three outdoor tables. Okay. Um, we have a little patio section where that is first come first serve. Okay. Um, that is not. How many tables are there? Just three. Okay. Um, but we do have this window, this retractable window mm -hmm. that oh, we have about um, six tables along the wall. We oh, actually have. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. 
That's great. That's really cool. Couple tables out there. So we open that when the good when the weather is sure. nice, and people always say they feel like they're on vacation somewhere. Yeah, they have yeah. the margarita. I love that. You know, cool. you have that. You know, almost like you're at a, in a beach and a mm-hmm. sure. A, you know, you got to put a little. Uh, potted palm trees out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> all the palm trees we have in here right now yeah. are actually all real too. Really? Yeah, we have, wow. We have cool. a gentleman that comes in every week and takes care of all of our. Oh, uh, really? Wow. Our, uh, That's amazing. Yeah. Now, did you buy them as babies or get them this big? No, we got them this big. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They, okay. So, <laughs> as a plant person, that that ain't cheap. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. I pay like a hundred dollars oh, for my little babies. These things yeah. are huge, man. They're yeah. they're awesome. I I love palm trees. I think it, you know takes the space and makes it look very elegant. So yeah, so, yeah some of yeah. these trees are fifteen plus years old. You know, just. Wow. Yeah, it's yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. And do you get them from Florida, or do you get them from a special like uh, supplier? We, we have a gentleman that works with us down oh, okay. in uh, down, and he's down in the Philly area, oh, okay. but he comes cool. up and maintains all that stuff for us. Wow, that's trims neat. them, yeah. that's really cool. waters them. Wow. Yeah, because wow. they they start growing and they start getting on the tables a little oh, bit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sure. So it takes a lot of yeah. maintenance. Yeah. 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 Oh. Wow. Pretty that's neat. cool. So we have the avocado yeah, ice cream. Avocado ice cream. Oh my god. Okay, here. Let's try it. Okay. I'll take a bite. Let's pass it down to Chris for me. Thank you. Do you guys want any? No, I'm oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Had it in a million uh, I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> okay, Chris, ready? Yeah. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Good luck. Mm. Wow, it's very mm. creamy. Yes. Mm. Very unique. Wow, that's I like really it. good. Very good. That's like something t- that you know what? I have a lot of Asian friends, and they don't like a lot of sweet, right? But they like chocolate, but usually darker chocolate because it's milder. They would love this. That's very mild. It's it's very sweet. subtle taste. It's very subtle. It's very mild. I like that a lot. When people mm. ask, very I always nice. say it's a very good. It's like similar to a vanilla, but creamier and a little nuttier. Yeah, yeah it's like a little nuttier. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. a good way to explain that's it. Very yeah. good. And like you said, it's mild, very, not yeah, too sweet, not too sweet, mm-hmm. but you no. still have that sweetness, but not too much though. We we You're actually right. serve that with our tres leches cake. You get a scoop of that with the tres leches. Oh. Okay. So it's a perfect balance of like yeah. sweet and creamy. Yeah, you know, that is brilliant. It doesn't overwhelm the tres leches cake. We're gonna need a slice of that. So I. Like in England, and, you know, Buckingham Palace and all that kind of fancy stuff. They use like a mint ice cream, I think it is, to cleanse the palate between meals. I've sure. heard of this done, or mm-hmm. peach ice cream or something. But yeah. That's yeah. a good palate cleanser, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's is. nice. Very, I like that. Very, it's good very balance. good. Uh-huh. So, yeah. does Tori have any exciting plans for the future? Anything coming down the pipeline? Uh, right right now, in the immediate future, we're gearing up for Cinco de Mayo. Well, Cinco de Mayo is, is obviously a big, very big, exciting. big holiday for yes. us. Mm. That, week, that week alone will be. That's one of our busiest weeks we have all year long. Mm. Sure. So, yeah, any, any exciting plans that night? I uh, mean, if- so for that day, we are going to feature some special food items okay. that we potentially might bring on the menu as well. Uh, we're going to feature um, a ceviche. Okay. Um, we're going to feature an enchilada, a seafood enchilada, Ooh. which we had it. We we've done uh, similar renditions to it, and okay. once we put a seafood enchilada on that menu, it just flies. It flies. It oh, wow. flies. Um, and also a featured steak. And nice. um, a dessert feature as well. Wow! Oh. Yeah, Very so I don't want to give up. I don't want to give all the surprises sure, away with the details of that. the dishes. <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to come in and find out. But uh, now, yeah. can people still make reservations? They can. Okay. Um, um, depending um, on the time. Of, yeah. Depending and, on the time and, and, and the how size many of people. The party. Honestly, <laughs> we're getting about a week out, and uh, okay. it's slim pickings slim right now. Slim pickings. Yeah, hey, mm. get what you could take. But you if can you only get here for lunch. So Cinco de Mayo is my anniversary, and I'm gonna try to get in here. We'll see if I can make it happen. I think you're talking to the right gentleman right here. Yeah, so I think, I think and they're having a special right guest appearance by Michelle Rodriguez from Fast and the Furious, just so you know, okay? <laughs> totally kidding. Totally kidding. No, no. I wish, though, you know, because I'd be here. <laughs> He's too so, But like oh, Tim I'm said, excited. Cinco de Mayo is sure. that whole week. Um, sure. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. The amount of tequila that we push out, oh, the man, work sure. that the staff puts in. Sure. Um, mm. We're just nonstop. What's your and most popular tequila here? I'm curious, actually. Oh, like, like, question. Like, what bottle sells the most? Probably Casamigos. Okay. And a is lot that like of that, a, is that like a standard, a more expensive one? Like it's, it's a middle of the road. Yeah, it's a middle of the road tequila okay. for the okay. ones that we have. Um, nice. it, it's a lot of brand recognition with that one. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah okay. It's George Clooney's tequila, or formerly, oh, formerly okay. George Clooney's wow. tequila, so, and George oh, okay. uh, gotcha. George Herbert Herbert. Yep, yep. yep. Yeah. Now, doesn't The Rock have one also? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. oh yeah. Nice. What's your most expensive bottle that you have here? Uh, the one oh, right over here. Yeah, cool. that's, this one's out. going on the new menu. So it's coming yeah. home with me. They gave it to me as an anniversary present. <laughs> <Yeah>. Seventeen hundred dollars. <laughs> so that one's actually yeah. Michael Jordan's tequila. Oh, that's Michael cool. Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. Yeah. He's one of the five owners of that tequila. Nice. So, yeah. nice. Wow. If you ever watch the ESPN documentary where mm. the Last Dance it's called, which just aired a, a year or two ago, okay. he's okay. drinking that tequila, the Sincoro Extra Añejo. 
Oh, wow. Um, and we, it's very rare and limited. Um, so we're ex- really excited to That's bring it great. on. Do we yeah. have an open bottle? That is really cool. <laughs> that is awesome. I don't think I can handle that. Yeah. And what about these we ones could. over here? Uh, so the Tears of La Rona, mm-hmm. there's a, a gentleman that used to make tequila for all of his friends down in Mexico. Um, he, he, they, he used to say this was tequila was so good that he just couldn't give it to just his friends anymore, and he started to sell it. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's so awesome. it's, when I say that's rare and limited, they sure. do about 4,000 bottles a year of that. What? That's um, it? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it was very hard to get. They only had a couple bottles oh, sure. from the state of Pennsylvania. Wow. And it's what, it, what they do is they age a third of it in uh, sherry casks, a third in cognac casks, and a third in scotch barrels. Okay. Wow. Is that what makes five it years, the color? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. So that, that okay. was a clear liquid when it went in there. Okay. Interesting. So they age wow. it in there for five years, and then they blend wow. all three together. Now, the Very bottle to the uh, to the right of that, that's mm-hmm. hand-painted. Is that correct? That's a correct. hand-painted bottle? Yeah. That is so cool. So that is really beautiful. amazing. So all those bottles... Not painted by you guys, I, I uh, take it. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. It, it would look like a five-year-old did it if we painted it. Yeah. <laughs> but, it's beautiful. That's but pretty cool. No, it, it, those bottles are... Uh, that's actually a mezcal, and those are all hand-painted. You mm. won't see the same one hand-painted ever again. Oh, wow. oh okay, wow. Yeah. That's, that's really that's amazing. That's one that's of the really new cool. tequilas that we plan on bringing on. It's, it's called Quiero Me Mucho. Okay. Um, mm. So, yeah, like Tim said, hand-painted. Uh, we love the design, and then when we mm. tried the tequila, we were just like, yeah. We okay. need to bring this on. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, absolutely. put that on the tower, and it just goes in with all the colors sure. and, oh, and yeah, everything. This place is just awesome. And what yeah. about the two down by Austin? Ooh, so, yes. So you, we actually have the Classe Azul Gold. Uh, this is a, okay. again a super rare, super it's, limited it seems uh-huh. bottle of tequila. Does that brand Ooh. have a blue and white bottle as yeah. well? Yes, okay, they do. Yeah, their their Classe yeah. Azul Reposado is a little more uh, okay. obtainable. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, this bottle is, I, I believe, they only sent two thousand to America. Wow. So we have two bottles of that, Amazing. and so once it's great. gone, we'll probably never see that one again. Wow. So, yeah. And then we Get got my best can. friend over here. She's <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like you. <laughs> this is great. I love this guy. He's like my new friend. So so what is this? I mean, this is tequila, obviously, but like this is amazing. So is this a rare one? Is this one yeah, you can find? I wouldn't say. It's not rare in mm. the sense of. Uh, it's you can get it, but in the state of Pennsylvania, it is rare. Wow. That's, yeah. that's, um, really that's called awesome. Skelly. Cool Skelly Reposado. Oh, okay. Um, we love once again. We like. Bottles with cool design. Sure. Um, yeah, yeah and definitely. We don't just go by design either as well. Mm-hmm. We, we need to taste the product, and it matched just like, you know, with the yeah. mezcal. Like I said, once we tried the tequila, it was a no-brainer. You know, the, it, has the, tequila it has stock. the look. And, that's great. And yeah. yeah. Awesome. It comes totally. with the sombrero. Um, that's cool. So it's pretty neat. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> tequila awesome. was the number two growing spirit. Really? You know, through the pandemic, obviously, people wow. had a lot of time really? on their hands. Yeah, a lot of time really? <laughs> yeah. Let me guess, first one was vodka? <laughs> yeah. No, no uh, wow. I, I, think it was, I think it was bourbon, actually. Wow. Yeah, bourbon was, I wouldn't have guessed that. Bourbon okay, was well. number one, and then tequila was a really close second. I think tequila is wow. actually going to overtake bourbon eventually. Wow. Yeah. And to touch on the Terramana, you mm-hmm. asked about yes. The Rocks, yes. Dwayne The Rock Johnson's tequila. That was actually the number one selling tequila was um, it? this past year. Oh, wow. wow. Fastest growing and number one selling in America. Wow. Shout out so, to The Rock. Yeah, yeah whenever he wants to come visit. Yeah. yeah. Dwayne, you know where to find us. Yeah, listen, man. Hit me up. We're right here. Hit we us have up. Food. I'll pay for your dinner, okay? Right here at Tour. We're okay? right Just in your come backyard, on over. <laughs> That's right. He's from the area. He's from the area. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 All right, Tim and Alex, we are out of time. Thank you so Thank much you. for Thank joining you for us. So Thank you for inviting us to this beautiful restaurant. Appreciate it. Thank you for all the wonderful food. It's just been amazing. Foodies. Check out LehighValleyFood.com. Get your next tasting tickets to our tasting at Yanni's Taverna over in Bethlehem. That's going to be May 18th at 6 p.m. Check out our podcast. Of course, check out our wonderful digital magazine. Hello. Has anyone checked this out yet? Of course you have. I've seen the insights. (laughs) Come on, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's just beautiful. So check it out on LehighValleyFood.com, guys. Definitely check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And, of course, thank you to Banco Beverage for sponsoring our show with iHeartRadio. And, of course, listen to us on WAB 790, 1470, WZZO, and B104. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. See you later. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for joining us on Lehigh Valley Food. Stay tuned next time as we eat our way through the valley. Find us anywhere you stream your podcast. Produced in Times Live Radio Studios by Rum Runners Podcast Network.